Hello everyone, in this video we'll be showing how to create an RFC trusted connection between two ACP systems. We'll be using the SLR and the GFP test systems. Before going to the steps, I'll just show an authorization object that must be added to the user. This will be the user ID I'll be using to perform the trusted connection setup. This authorization object is not included by default even in the SAP O profile. So I have created the ZRFC role to add this object. The name of the authorization object is S underscore RFC ACL. And for the activity field, we must check execute, which is actually the only option available. For the same user ID field, we must check yes and only yes. You cannot check both or else it will not work. And for the other fields, I've added a star. Of course, for a production and application user, this is uh, too wide. You might want to restrict this and maybe even for basis team. And another important observation is that the user ID must be the same on both systems. The password does not need to be the same. So to perform the steps, you first go to transaction SM59 and we'll create an ABAP destination. I'll call it SLR Trusted. It's connection type 3 for ABAP. We need to add a description. We must maintain the target host and the system number. And that's it. You don't need to change anything else. You can just save and I'll perform a connection test just to be sure. OK. So now we must go to transaction SMT1. We'll create a new system using the destination we just created. Now, as you can see, we are at the SLR logon screen. So we just need to perform logon. We'll be back to the GFP system to continue the wizard. I'll not add any restriction here. Just complete the wizard. Now, as you can see, the SLR system was added. We must now go to the SLR system and perform the same steps. So at the SLR system, we go to SM59, create a new ABAP destination to GFP system, so GFP trusted. We'll add the host name, system number, save, just a quick test. OK, now we go to SMT1. As you can see, I'm using different SAP releases, so you see the different screens. We'll then add the GFP system here. So we must inform the name of the destination to be used, GFP Trusted. Now we are at the GFP logon screen. We'll just perform logon. Save it. OK, this is the basic setup. We can now go to either system and create trusted connections, trusted RFC destinations. So I'll go to SM59 again, create a new destination, which I will call GFP CLNT for client 001. So first, Must always add a description. Uh, 
Now we must go to the Logon Security tab. We can use the Trusted System option to Yes. For security reasons, it's always recommended to check the current user box. And we, it's very important to inform the client. If you don't check the current user and, and set a user ID here, any user ID that is able to reach this destination will be able to connect to the remote system. So I'll save it. We'll perform the basic tests. Connection test, OK. You might also test the authorization. It should work. And now if I press the remote logon button, will be sent to the GFP system. Now we can do the same thing at G the GFP system. We'll go to SM59, create a new destination to the SLR client 800. We just fill up the necessary fields. Now, I always like to perform the tests just to be sure everything is fine. Authorization test. Okay, and it worked. So that's it for this video. Bye-bye.